Welcome to Income Tax Lesson 3. Lesson 3, we are going to deal with backward taxation. Okay? So you are given like backward, ask to find the salary or taxable income. And then you are given taxable income. So, first, I want you to comprehend the, the let us comprehend the, the table. What does the table say? It says monthly income in Kenya shillings. Okay? Monthly taxable income in Kenya shillings. Now, Kerubo, the tax Kerubo paid, the payee was 1916 Kenya shillings. The table has only three classes. Three classes. So it is very simple, okay? Very simple. So, from the literature that he has put there, there is literature from under under 9681 under 9681 under so under 9681 that means from 9680 downward and the lower limit is one because we don't tax anyone who has nothing yet we say taxable income you see taxable income we tax who has income. So it means from 1 up to 9680. That would be my class 1. So the table can also be given indirectly. So you put it in the comprehensible classes. The classes that you understand very well. Okay? Then we are also told uh, from 9681 now he gives you the lower limit of the second class 9681 2 under 18801 under 18801 under so our upper limit becomes 18800 and then the last, the same, okay? So you can, this is denied, but you can generate. Very simple. Now, having gotten this, I want you to also understand bracket amount. Now, in his table, he has given us the rate. The rate is in percent. Percent does not change the bracket amount. It doesn't okay percent now I have to create my understanding if I have gotten this I can put bracket amount the bracket amount first class it is this minus zero or you do this minus one get the answer and then plus one please be careful it is this the top the upper minus lower first get the answer so <laughs> that you add one or simply subtract one from the lower limit one minus one zero now upper minus new lower limit you get okay now I want you to understand one thing. These are three classes, one, two, three. You draw up to the fourth line. On the fourth line at the end, write total tax is 1916. That is what we were given. 1916 is the tax he paid or payee. What does it mean? This total tax came from some taxation up. It came from some taxation. 
So there was this line and this line and this line and so on. Or it came from only one line or two lines. The key thing is, up there, there were taxation which were put together to create total. Remember, total is addition. So there was something added to something. That is the bottom line. We cannot talk of total when it is an individual entity. No. It is this plus that. So the basic thing, there must be two. When we say total, there must be two things. So at least it can be, we have only three classes. It can be class one, class two at the worst. Or it can be class one, class two, class three. So what are we required to do? Normally, unless something happens, the first class is automatic. So from bracket amount of the first class, do the taxation get the amount. So the first class is always there. So it means from the first class, we have 968. So what, where are we heading? Go to the second class. I want you to do it just the normal way, yeah? and then I'll correct you. Go to the second class. If this class was full, its bracket amount would be 9120. Are we together? It would be 91, 20. Then multiply by 15%. It would give you 13, 68. Are we together, folks? 13, 68. But remember, 19, 16 is a total of the tops. So our initial is 968. If you add to uh, 13, 68. Let us do it quickly. 968, 968. If you add it to 1368, 1368, I would get 2336. It has already passed the amount you are given. It has already passed. Are we getting, are we moving together? So I'm doing it from a simple layman perspective. The first class amount I know, I tax. Second class I know, I tax. But each time you tax, you must see it cannot exceed what you are given. That's why I've put the star. Once it succeeds, it tells you, get correct difference. So what is correct difference? The total I was given is 19. 16 minus the first one 6 I mean 9 the first one is 9 68 the difference is 948 okay 948 so each time you must see that you don't exceed the total tax given. So if I, the first class is always okay, you will put it. Go to the second class, get the taxation, add the first and second. If it is not exceeding the total tax given, you go to the third class. Get bracket amount of third class, do the normal multiplication by the percentage given or the rate, get that amount. Add class 1, class 2, class 3. If it does not exceed the total tax given, go to the fourth class. There is somewhere you will see it exceeds. Once it exceeds, come here. Get correct difference. The amount that was given, subtract what is there before the red flag. Before the red flag. So if the red flag happened in class 4, then you do the, uh, the total tax given 
minus the amount of class 1, the amount of class 2, taxation amount, not bracket amount, taxation amount of class 1, taxation amount of class 2, taxation amount of class 3. That difference, you carry on with it here now. Are we together? Yeah. So mine, red flag, second class. Red flag, second class. So what do I do? Total tax minus taxation amount of class 1. I get 948. So it simply means to get the right bracket amount in the second class, I will take 948 divided by 0 0.15 and then you get 6320. So the correct thing here on this red star is not 9120 if you are following, but it is 6320. It is 6320. And I told you bracket amount will, will result into taxable income. So taxable income is 9680 plus 6320, which gives me 16,000. Very simple, but you must reason logically. Can't be a teacher, doctor, engineer, preacher, if you don't put your points logically. Can't be a teacher, doctor, engineer, preacher if you don't put your points logically. Bye-bye.